Hey guys, Silence Hill here. Welcome back to another Uta Macross Gacha video. So if you guys are new to this game, welcome to all of you because there are quite a few of you who are actually new to the game and who are following me on Instagram. So I got to know that some of you are actually new to this game and you've actually chatted with me on Instagram or on YouTube. So thank you guys for following me. If you guys are already following me and have not followed me on Instagram, please do so because that's where I usually dump all my Macross information and anything other pop uh, any other pop culture information I, I adore as well so that we can chit chat and talk and discuss everything geeky <laughs> nerdy weeby whatever terms you want to use so anyways guys I'm gonna give um, the new players a bit of a tip first regarding this current event because it can be a bit of a um, hard thing to swallow right at this point of time so before we dive into the gacha details as usual so first thing first I'm sure most of us veteran players already know how to kind of set up um, our episode plates that's currently um, attached to our divas because this current missions um, as most of us know level 3 tends to be the best benefit and of course that's the best one that you should always tackle for level 3, 120% boost mission, um, it usually requires you to um, have a certain amount of HP at the end of the life, you know, to clear it. So I'm going to lower down the music audio here because I don't want to get copyright struck. <laughs> so I'm going to show you guys, the new players especially, um, what I actually have set up. So once you've choose, uh, chosen which amount of energy you want to use for the play um, and of course once you've selected your friend shared episode plate of course make use of the episode plates that have the um, main featured bonuses especially the seven star episode plates that have been released for the month of december so here is my team setup um, the first thing i will always recommend is you always have a center position episode plate with the recovery active skill because of the 120 percent um, bonus mission it's definitely going to be a, a problem so 50% recovery is the best way to you know clear that mission with no problem at all always activate it at the last few notes of the entire song so that you can get that full benefit of the recovery um, then of course equip the episode plates that give you that bonus percentage um, right here and there so after you've done that whatever extra slots that you have I've already um, you know fully set up Min Mei to be the bonus percentage episode plates the, the last two here and of course the healing active plate then the rest of the episode plates on Basara and Milane um, basically are either scoring episode plates or healing episode plates depending on your skill level so if you guys are new players and you find it very difficult first for yourself to tackle um, the current event song yes the current event song is actually pretty difficult and you know to have a certain amount of health remaining at the end of the play can be a bit of a bit of a big challenge especially if you are the kind of player that can't handle very hard that kind of stuff and especially extreme i cannot clear extreme on this with a certain amount of health so that's a problem <laughs> Um, but, you know, if you can clear extreme um, for the current mission that I have right now on hand, which is the 100% uh, bonus boost, and of course it only requires you to clear the entire thing with a double S rank score. So that's pretty easy. You can just go ahead and do extreme, as you can tell I have not cleared extreme yet. Um, you can go ahead and clear extreme under this bonus challenge. Um, then of course you can use your skip tickets to clear it as well which is always fantastic to gain those extra boosts and score and medals that you need to exchange for your Kuji rewards. So my recommendations to all the new players out there, equip episode plates that have either the healing notes attached to them or a healing life skill attached to these episode plates. So you can have the entire extra slot on the side divas that you have on your team. Um, if you have no idea how to find all the episode plates with the healing abilities, 
make sure you go to the filter system. Of course, if you have six star episode plates, that will be better. Then you can choose whichever diva you want. Then of course you can use this filter system to highlight life recovery only. Then it will show you all the episode plates with life recovery skills for that specific diva. So you can go ahead and sort them out. You know, just, just slot them in. You don't really have to bother about the series type of episode plates because you just want to survive. Since this current event doesn't really require um, high score. <laughs> so just go ahead and pop it out. Um, then of course, if you really want to be fussy about it, make sure you choose those episode plates that like um, has the highest chance of activation. Like this one only activates if you have 8% and below. That's kind of horrible. Um, so pay attention to those. Then of course, the amount of healing that they do, 18% here. So this Cheryl Gnome one is, when it hits below 40%, it recovers 25%, that kind of stuff. So arrange accordingly to your play preference. If you guys have a bit more skill, um, you can you know put in a bit of a challenge for yourself, maybe get some decent high score, that kind of stuff. But you know, high, like I said, high score in this event doesn't matter at all. You just need to survive. Um, if you have 6 star episode plates, you will definitely get your double S rank score. So even if you don't equip episode plates for high score purposes, you know, that kind of stuff. Because once you've reached a certain level of uh, experience and amount of collections of your episode plates, double S rank score is just, uh, it, it's just too easy to attain already. <laughs> Alright, enough of the tips for the new players. Hopefully that helps out you guys. Um, so all the best to you guys out there for your current event. Let's talk about the brand new episode plate for Freya. So if you guys actually logged in today and you actually saw this thing pop up on your screen, yes, whenever that happens, it means that Dana has tossed in an episode plate with a brand new life skill. So let's take a look at the brand new life skill for Freya's episode plate and breaking down the episode plate as well. So Freya's episode plate comes at a total of 3787 at a plus 25 luck value. So if you're wondering what its stats are without the plus 25 luck, it comes out at a 3537. Surprisingly enough, it's actually one of the highest um, stats on a new generation episode plates yet. Uh, so that's pretty surprising. So it bumps this episode up, uh, episode plate up to kind of a mass get. All right. So pay attention to the three other divas that can make use of Freya's episode plate. It's going to be very crucial for you guys, especially if you want to use an episode plate for um, the diva improvement events, where you can only equip episode plates to that specific diva that you are focusing on to improve their stats, that kind of stuff. Um, then of course, the soul stat on this episode plate gets a really harsh bump down, uh, focusing more on the voice and a tiny bit on charm, which is what you need for the current event song to you know, get score, which doesn't really matter, right? <laughs> Anyways, center skill, life up. So unit's life is increased by 40% up, which is fantastic for the current missions that is going on for the event. Next page, life recovery of 30%. Eh, you know, like I said in, all, in most of my videos, 50% is the best healing recovery and that's the best you should always equip. So this episode plate is definitely not going to help you as a center position episode plate. However, like I said, this is a brand new episode plate with a brand new life skill. So let's take a look at the life skill right here. So if you can't tell what this kanji means, it basically... Uh, it requires one thing. It requires your diva's affection to give you a good high score. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to tell you what the, li uh, the life skill effect is first before I tell you what diva affection is. I'm sure most of you guys who are old veteran players will probably still understand what diva affection is, but I'm sure most of you have probably forgotten by now because it's one of those things that most 
long-term players have probably forgotten to do. I should probably do a video. Top 10 things that you've probably forgotten to do in Uta Cross. Alright, that's going into my bucket list of videos to be making. <laughs> if you want to see that happen, let me know in the comment section down below. Because there are a lot of things that probably most of you have probably forgotten about in Uta Cross and forgotten to do. Well, you know, because it doesn't seem to really matter. But now Dana is really making you guys pay attention to such things because it is now affecting your high score. <laughs> so what does this episode plate do? So at the 40 second mark for 16 seconds, uh, whichever device you equip with this plate basically um, gains a 2% boost in score for every affection level it currently is at. So if you're wondering why in the world is Diva Affection, we'll talk about it later after we've gone through the last page. So yes, brand new episode plate with a brand new skill. Of course, it doesn't come with a special note attached to it. So let's talk about what Diva Affection is. So I'm sure most of you have probably heard this term before if you've watched four years of my YouTube Across content. Diva Affection is what you always see on screen. Well, technically it's invisible, but it is one of those things that you most of you have probably forgotten to do. If you take note, there is this counter here with a heart and a number in it. That is Diva Affection points. <laughs> Alright, so if you have gone through the tutorial about Diva Affection, you know that you can hold on to your diva and give the affection point to the diva itself. So, um, <laughs> so basically, it requires your diva's uh, level, if I'm not wrong. I don't think it's the points. Because um, if it's points, that it is a lot of points. Um, right now, Mikumo's affection level is at 54. So... 54% boost in score. That's pretty decent. Considering that now, the max level of Diva Affection is locked at 60. So, I have already almost completed um, my Valkyrie team in Diva Affection. So, you can actually change your Diva here. Alright. And of course, if you guys have forgotten, yes, this is one of the things you've probably forgotten. You can actually give Diva gif uh, gifts like, I've, I've almost forgotten to give Mikumo the daily gift. Yes, you can give a gift every day. So you, they will give you like a whole bunch of text here and you have to guess which is the proper gift to give them to gain that 100% uh, boost in affection levels. So I know for a fact that this is Mikumo's favorite phrases for the specialized gift for her, which is this thing, the Aroma, uh, aroma Goods. So I'm going to give this to her, so you can see that she'll gain that 100% boost and she gain 2,000 points from the affection gift. So I do have other divas that I have already maxed out their affection levels. So I'm just going to show you Ray Ray. Of course, she's my second waifu. So yes, um, her diva level is already maxed out at 60. So I'm going to hold her there. So you can see level 60 is the max level. So with the life skill of this episode plate currently being affected by diva affection levels, um, yeah, you guys really need to remember to start giving all the affection points because it's going to matter. I have a feeling that, yeah, this this is based off the affection level rather than the, the points because every level of the diva affection requires different amount of points. So definitely it can't be points, right? Because 60 times 2, that's 120%. So yes, right now, because the Diva Affection level cap is at 60%, this episode plate is only able to produce out 120% boost in score points, which is technically the best out there right now. And so far, no episode plate out there has a life skill that can exceed 120%. So this is fantastic. So. If your episode plate is attached to a diva that has a maxed out affection level, sadly to say, Freya is not one of the divas that I have maxed out yet. In fact, she's the last Wakure member I'm maxing out right now. Uh, so I have 
uh, Reina, Makina, Kaname, fully maxed out. Um, I'm working on Mikumo right now, then of course followed by Freya. Then eventually the rest of the other five divas will have their affection level being maxed out. So yes, I've been pretty diligent giving out all my affection gifts and uh, affection points every day. So hopefully you guys, after hearing this video, please make sure you do so because now this episode plate relies on the affection levels of your divas to give you a good high score. So interestingly enough, it's nice. It's a nice touch of Dana to include this life skill because I think they figure out that there are a lot of points in the game where a lot of the veteran players have probably um, given up doing because it doesn't really affect the gameplay. Kinda. So now they've decided to implement life skills that really require them and you know make use of the mechanics to heighten gameplay. So pay attention that this life skill is of a short duration skill. So you can use those short duration improvement episode plates to boost the 120% boost in score. This is actually a pretty good episode plate. So with all of that said, is this a must to get? If you're a Freya fan, no doubt about it, you definitely need to get this episode plate. If you are not a Freya fan and you're a regular player, you still need to get this episode plate because it is definitely one of the better episode plate life skills out there right now, especially if you've got your affection levels maxed out on um, your favorite divas that can use this episode plate. So yes, so people who have maxed out Reina, like myself, yes, I'm going to be very happy <laughs> with that if I do get this episode plate. Uh, Shero Gnome fans, Basara fans, we are definitely going to be fully utilizing this episode plate if you manage to get it from the gacha pool yourself. And if you have your favorite waifu or husband those fully maxed out on affection levels uh, for yourself. So eventually more divas will be getting episode plates like this and hopefully in the future if Dana does include the special note attachment to it, uh, we need the score on. <laughs> it's going to be an insane episode plate in the future. Um, I don't know if they will ever implement a special item into the game in the future that lets you equip special notes to episode plates. That is going to be a game breaker. Oh my goodness, if that ever happens. Let me know in the comment section down below if you really want to see Dana include such a thing. I would definitely want to see such a thing happen. I mean, we can use items to evolve episode plates already. We can unlock secret bots already with items. Why not include special notes attached to items? I mean, it's going to be a hell lot of fun uh, in the future. You know, um, who knows? Maybe um, you have additional new special notes attached to episode plates in the future other than the five that we are so familiar with right now. Do they have five? Yeah, five. <laughs> okay, so enough blabbling away. We're going to do this. This is definitely one of those episode plates that you want to get. So first things first, we're going to start off with the free daily pool. Alright, this is the evening session because I'm actually recording this right before the server resets. Whew, because well, I've been busy whole day, still trying to get a full-time job. And of course, I'm covering my cross modelers for you guys. Um, for those of you who are Plumo fans, you know, and all the information is up on Instagram already. So if you guys are following me there, you probably know what I'm talking about. All the brand new plastic models that's coming out from Hasegawa. Um, so yeah, make sure you guys pre-order those if you guys are a fan of that. So this is a very pretty common episode play. I think there was a like high double digit. Okay, so I don't know. The luck, the luck is not good. <laughs> it's still continuing to be not good. I do have super dimension tickets that I need to clear. But before we do that, um, I'm going to do the free pool from Freya's main banner. Alright, here we go. Oh, no, no, nothing. I'm gonna increase the volume here. Okay, ooh. So this is a pretty common plate as well, but what? I don't have double digits for it. Okay. I thought it was a pretty common plate. I've seen it so many times though. Hmm. Alright, so let's do the Super Dimension Gacha Pool. Um, 
uh, yeah, since I have a plate that's uh not a plate ticket that's expiring on the tenth, definitely into the pool yet because that's tomorrow. Okay, we're gonna do ten plate pool here. So far, Dana has been pretty generous with all the super dimension tickets they've been giving out. So that's why I have so much stored up, which is great, especially for new players. Never have enough episode plates. Duplicates are always fine as well. Okay, let's see. What do we get? So, yeah, th there's no luck in this pool, which is fantastic. Technically, I would like to have the luck for the main gacha banner, especially. So, but it seems like today's luck is pretty bad as well. It's like December, the horrible month for me. I don't know. There were a few years that I remember December had been a good thing. Especially for New Year's. New Year's has always been a good luck thing for my account. So okay, horrible stuff from the Super Dimension Pool, which is kind of good, in my opinion. Um, don't want to really use my luck there. Would love to have to attain the brand new plates still. Alright, so I have two pools of 10 plates here because I have the event gacha tickets. Hopefully you guys have already attained yours and gotten something nice out of it. If not, there is always that 300 discounted pool. Um, so we're gonna go with the event gacha tickets first. Hmm. Alright, good luck come here right now. Not having the seven star featured episode plates in this month, but getting a new brand new episode plate with a brand new life skill, that will be definitely a recovery point. And well for good for giving point in this point of my life. Oh, rainbow box, that's nice. Okay, common plates. What? Rainbow box appears so soon? Oh my goodness, it evolved! Wait, what? Oh! I don't have this yet! Oh my goodness, I am one step closer to a full set. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, we got costume points, which is the bare minimum. That's nice. Oh, more points. That's always nice. But you know, I would still like to get the main featured episode plate though. Just when I was like... Having bad luck for this month, <laughs> Dana decides to give me a break. Okay. <laughs> no evolution for the red box. Oh, this is pretty rare. Yeah, so the the, the kimono, kimono design plates are pretty rare. Oh my goodness. I am one step closer to getting the full set of Valkyrie costumes for um, the recent Macross Delta movie. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Holy crap. Okay, I'm gonna erase one of the seven star episode plates that I'm missing from my collection today. <laughs> oh wow. I mean, it would have been nice if it was the Mirai on set, but you know. You can't be too fussy. Alright, um, we're gonna go with the discounter plate pool now. Oh boy. Come on, Freya plate, come out to me. No wonder the loading bar was so long earlier. Okay, but still, not having a special box on the first blink, that was kind of uh, ominous, but wow. Okay, five Valkyries. Red box on the first blink. Oh wow, so many red boxes and one rainbow. Okay. Am I finally getting good luck? Oh wow. Wait, was this a new plate just now? That means it's fully evolved. Oh, here we go. No evolution. Ooh, it's not the main feature uh, featured with Freya plate, but still a pretty costume nonetheless. More costume points. Fantastic. Okay. Second red box. Alright, it's definitely one of the episode plates with the bonus points. So that's nice. Third red box. Oh. Haven't seen this in a while. Oh, <laughs> Just when I said I haven't seen this in a while, they gave me doubles. Okay! That's fine. Oh wait, is the plate evolving? Oh wow! Alright, progression, more costume points, a new 6 star episode plate for my collection. I'm not complaining, I mean, it is technically a brand new episode plate with a brand new life skill, but 
eventually we will see more episode plates like these for other divas so i'm i'm not complaining the highest benefit for today is still that six star episode plate and of course evolving freya's uh, existing five star to a six star form i'm good seriously i'm good i mean if you guys actually pulled out the featured freya episode plate um good for you guys uh, and if you guys have a rare up star, make sure you fully evolve it to fully utilize its skill. And of course, get <laughs> cracking at, you know, giving affection to your favorite wife wolves and husband those. Because now you are definitely going to need it for that score purpose. Um, guys, it's a lot to unpack for today's video. But, you know, it has to be said. So hopefully everything has been useful to you guys as usual, especially for the new players. And of course, for veteran players. Hopefully I managed to kick back to you guys some of the mechanics that has been lingering around but you've forgotten to do. Now you're probably regretting why didn't you continue to do so. <laughs> um, you know, things happen. You know, Luckily I'm here to remind you guys. So anyway guys, thank you guys so much again for watching through this video. If you guys watched through the entire thing, you guys are awesome. If you guys are also following me on Instagram and of course subscribe onto YouTube, you guys are even more awesome it's not a word but i feel like it should be you guys are more awesome it sounds quirky it sounds fun i don't know i'm just gonna swing with it <laughs> guys thank you guys as always i can never say thank you enough because it's such a nice word here right thank you so until then guys i'll see you guys soon bye